Hello, I'm Rohan Savant and today in this video, we are discussing architecture and infrastructure planning for MDM Elasticsearch. Embedded Elasticsearch was introduced in MDM starting version 10.3. You now have an option to choose from two engines, either Solar or Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a decoupled independent service which does not rely on process server to run its code to drive the search and indexing capabilities. In front of us, we have a component overview diagram. Traditionally, we have seen that we have the hub server, the process server, and the database. The database here would host the CMX system and your ORS schemas. On the right hand side, we have an Elasticsearch service. This could either be a node or a cluster. Now this service can either run on the same machine where MDM is installed or on a completely different independent machine. What we have in front of us is a co-located hub and process server along with the Elasticsearch node. This architecture which hosts the Elasticsearch node on the same machine as the hub and process server is ideal for sandbox and development environments. This basic architecture is ideal for lower environments, typically sandbox and development. These environments which do not see a lot of load, API activity or constant creates updates or searches. This approach is typically not recommended for a production environment. However, if you decide to use this approach for production, this would only be ideal for an implementation that has fewer bees and extremely low volumes. Uh, it could support smaller incremental loads when E360 is just used for searches. Since the hub and process servers and the Elasticsearch node is sitting on the same physical machine, we call this a co-located installation. The second option that we have is having a dedicated Elasticsearch node. Here, as you can see in the diagram, we have two machines, machine A and B. Machine A hosts the hub and process server, essentially your MDM installation. And we have a dedicated machine which hosts the Elasticsearch service. Now, this kind of an architecture is ideal for environments which have very few numbers number of records, fewer bees, and they see not a lot of volume in terms of daily loads, API activities for creates, updates, and search. Now, in most MDM installations, for higher environments, MDM is typically clustered or installed on multiple machines. Now, you can tie down the clustered MDM or a multi-node MDM with a co-located cluster approach, wherein all the machines that host MDM also have a single Elasticsearch node running on each of them. By clustering together multiple Elasticsearch nodes, you can create an Elasticsearch cluster. Now this kind of a setup is ideal for an implementation with multiple Bs with medium to high volume data, uh, implementations that see good amount of daily loads, E360 searches, API activities, and so on. The last approach that we have here is a dedicated MDM cluster interacting with a dedicated Elasticsearch cluster. Here, as you can see, we have range of machines from machine A to machine Z which basically form an MDM cluster, each hosting either the hub, hub server or the process server or different combinations of those. This is then tied down with an, a dedicated Elasticsearch cluster, which can range from one machine to n number of machines, depending on the requirements and the data volumes that a typical implementation sees. This kind of an approach is ideal and the most recommended approach for production environments with see high volume, frequent data loads, heavy API users in 
frequent E360 searches. We have suggested four possible options to integrate MDM and Elasticsearch. To select the approach that best suits you, you have to consider the number of business entities and searchable fields in the implementation. You also have to factor in the frequency of user updates and creates and how many API calls are being made to MDM. Apart from this, the business requirements around high availability should also be discussed and factored in while making a call as to which architecture suits you the best. Now that we know what co-located and standalone instances mean, we have a spec sheet in front of us that defines what are the minimum recommended settings for your Elasticsearch node. As you can see, we have a certain requirement for Java heap, the RAM that's on the machine. Currently, the only two Java vendors that Elasticsearch supports, they are Oracle and OpenJRE. Elasticsearch is a CPU and a disk intensive process. So you need to ensure that you have a multi-core high clock speed CPU in either case. And also an SSD is recommended on the machines that are hosting Elasticsearch service. While setting this up, you also need to ensure that uh, your nodes are set up on the same data centers and the network latency is low. Though MDM and Elasticsearch server can run both on Linux and Windows, it is recommended to have the Elasticsearch service run on a Linux environment. I hope with the help of this video, you can make a choice and a decision as to which architecture and setup works best for your implementation and you can drive the most out of the MDM Elasticsearch integration. Thank you.